In this video, I'm going to discuss the weekly watch list for February 19th, 2023. Uh, just a FYI, um, there is a uh, holiday President's Day uh, weekend. Um, so Monday, the futures are going to be closing at 1 p.m. Eastern time, 10 p.m. on or 10 a.m. on the West Coast. So uh, it's going to be a half day for uh, futures. Stocks will be closed. So just a FYI in case you uh, forgot. But um, before we begin, do me a favor, hit the like button and subscribe, and let's jump right into it. So again, this is a weekly watch list for February 20 or uh, 19th, 2023. So we're going to first look at the market profile for the S&P E-mini futures. One of the things um, that stands out to me right now is this balance. This entire balance area is right here, right? Um, usually what markets will tend to do is they'll balance okay and then go into imbalance right rally and then balance again and then go into imbalance right that's all the market does uh, for the futures and what we're seeing right now is we're seeing a potential break of balance um, to the downside we took out this low so we're making a high a low a lower high and lower low now, if you kind of see what happens is when price actually pops out, look at this, it pops up, comes back, retest, and then rallies. I wonder if we actually on Monday, since it's a holiday, do we rally up a little bit and then fail and potentially target this point of control right around the 4,000 level? Um, don't know. But I will say, um, we I do feel like we are whistling, or the stock market is whistling by the graveyard. That's what I'm going to name this video, right? Um, it just feels like there's a lot of weird craziness going on in the world, and yet the market cares zero about it. The market, in my opinion, has become very complacent um, by the dips type of a market. It really doesn't happen. And then all of a sudden we'll wake up one day and boom, the market does something um, and it starts that potential downward trend. Now, last weekend, I said, watch this level, right? This 40, uh, 50 level. If we could kind of, if we break below this, okay, we got the 200 and the 50 on the daily. Um, if we break through this, this could really get real ugly because it could be a really quick move. And then we find ourselves on the other side of this entire, uh, the trend line right or this wedge because right now we are way up here if we break through it may be a quick little move lower and then we might start to trade down inside something like this and this is why i was showing you this because here we could probably we're trying to fall out of a uh, balance right now and potentially maybe as a magnet uh this four thousand level but we will need to see if there's news maybe it's the retail news next week maybe it's a geopolitical something like that i'm not trying to be a perma bear or anything like that i'm just saying the market feels kind of weak to me um but it also feels kind of strong and very complacent so that's all I'm going to say. Those are my thoughts. Um, I would just kind of watch this level um, over. If we start to fall, um, I would say watch the 4,000 for a potential uh, bounce um, buyers. But if we just cut right through that, we, we may be in for some uh, selling over the next uh, week or two. So um, let's take a look at the NQ. NQ, um, kind of same thing, just a um, NQ, if anything, looks more like a bull flag to me. Um, but again, this could just kind of break down on that bull flag and then maybe come down and retest 
its point of control right around the 11,700 level, right? So just uh, remember, bull flags are not always bullish. Sometimes you do break down from them. So just something to be aware of. Um, real quick, um, make sure you guys, uh, check out my, uh, website, uh, daytrainfearless.com, um, $99 special one-time payment. Uh, if you guys want to help support my channel, learn, get some education. I have a seven hour video course on my top five trading strategies and my S&P email weekly trade zones uh, that I actually um, update every single weekend that act as support and resistance levels. But there's a link down below um, or go to my website, daytrainfearless.com. Okay, so let's uh, take a look at crude oil. Uh, crude kind of uh, banged its head up. I said watch this uh, last week. Um, kind of looks like maybe a failure, but right now just very balanced uh, in the market. Just kind of something very sideways. If we break out, watch out for the upside. If we break down, watch out to the downside. Just use a Fibonacci extension tool above and below this is the way i would do something if you do trade crude oil and these are levels for you guys so i'll leave these up um, and see where we're at next week uh let's take a look at bitcoin bitcoin just kind of a churning um watch this uh resistance twenty seven thousand gap fill around twenty nine thousand. again if the market goes so will bitcoin but look at this right just read what the chart's telling you. Massive, massive divergence. So um, I'm going to leave it at that. Um, the one thing I will say is, you know, you know, I've been calling for Bitcoin for 11,000. I was talking with somebody uh, this past week and we were talking about Bitcoin. And I'm like, hey, does 14,000 or 15,000 constitute close enough to my 11 or 12,000. Hey, maybe it does. Maybe Bitcoin sell off is done, but I, um, we, we will see. Um, I'm actually neutral on it. I think it's, uh, doing what the stock market's doing. Um, so if the market goes, Bitcoin will go. If the market rallies, Bitcoin will rally. Uh, that's kind of where we're at. I feel like so. Uh, let's take a look at gold. GLD came down. I said, watch this uh, 38 level last week, came right down. I'm also watching the 50% uh, percent because you have this old um, kind of a swing high. You also have the point of control right around the 67, but we'll see if uh, gold could rally. I'm neutral on gold right now. Uh, same with um, silver, hit the lower edge of the value area, um, kind of bounced right off it, um, almost came to the 50, but um, again, neutral there. And then AAPL, um, Apple, nice uh, bull flag starting to form. But again, if we just draw a trend line, right, where are we on that trend line? Kind of zoom in, we're on the backside of that trend line not very healthy. Um, and even if I draw this a little cleaner, it's either, it's the same thing either way, right? Uh, so be careful, maybe potential downside on Apple. So with that being said, hope you guys have a great weekend. Um, as always, thank you for uh, watching my videos. Till next time, we'll talk to you soon.